Ah, Tommy, I'm glad you're here. I was afraid I'd miss you. Hey, boss. What's going on? There's something I've been looking forward to all week. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch, but my personal bodyguard has called in sick. There's nobody here who could take me, and I prefer not to go to these things alone. You'll take me, won't you? Certainly, boss. Bravo. Let's get going, then. I'm already pretty hungry. Have you got a piece on you, Tommy? Yeah, I got one. You think I'll need it? Well, <laughs> probably not. But it's better to be sure. You know how it is. We'll take my card. Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian, and above all, a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. At last, I could eat a horse. Hey, Danzarieri, welcome! Pepe, you don't even know how much I'm looking forward to your specialties. Fantastic meal, Pepe. I haven't eaten that well in a long time. Molto grazie, Dan. Praise it from a gourmet like you always are making me feel it with joy. Oh, please, I'm no gourmet. If you knew what I ate for dinner yesterday, you definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, Adana? I have an excellent Chianti. Really? Let's get it out here then, Peppy. At once, sir. How'd you like it, Tommy? It was fantastic, boss. I'll have to bring Sarah here sometime. Ah, yes. You certainly should, Tommy. Just be careful that Sarah doesn't take offense. She cooks worse than Peppy. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Hey, this is ruining my lunch. Marilla must have nothing better to do. So they could have at least let me taste the wine, Gavones. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Throw him his present, Joe. Maybe we'll smoke him out.
Working for you is real interesting, boss. What'd you say? My ears are ringing from that blast. Yes, boss. It looks like we won't get out this way. Try and run around the back of them, while I keep them entertained. Yes, boss. Be careful. I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. You saved my ass. You weren't so bad yourself, boss. Christ, that was crazy. Thank God Pepe hit. Poor guy. I'll have to send him some dough for repairs. We should. Boss, I'd like to know how they knew where we were. You think they followed us? I don't think so, Tommy. I have a feeling I know who set me up. Who? Carlo, my bodyguard. That goddamn son of a bitch, he's the only one who knew where I was going. And he also excused himself from work today. He knew very well what was gonna happen. That sounds pretty likely. Yeah, I think so. I'll tear him apart like a ragdoll. Carlo lives in a rented house in Little Italy, a little way from our bar. There's a pizzeria downstairs. We're going.
Carlo, you bastard. We're coming for you. Let's do it, Tom. Break down the door, bust in there, and kill the bastard. Ah! He's run down the fire escape, Tommy. Get him! Ah! Shut up, lady, or you're next. Police! Kill that bastard, Tom! You know what, boss? What? That's the first time I knocked someone off in their underpants. It's nothing. First time for me, too. There's a first time for everything. Well, who do we have here? How are you, Sergio? Staying out of trouble? I see you got a new punching bag. Well, the gentleman here thinks that the financing of our labor union ain't fair, and he wants to strike. I've always said a strike is a bad thing. Real bad. Unless, of course, it's organized by my dear brother for a higher goal. You won't get away with this. The boys will show you. I think you're overestimating their bravery. Cockroach. I didn't come for this discussion, unfortunately. We'd like to introduce you to some of our principles about labor unions in this free country of ours. Carry on, boys. <clears throat> What's the reason for your coming, brother? Salieri is alive. What? How could he survive? I'm afraid in the current situation Bastard. we can't ask him. Burn it hell. And there is nobody else who could tell us <clears throat> what happened. Our guys are dead, and the customers at the restaurant are dead. And that sneak Carlo is as well. Could you please shut up? We're trying to talk here! Go to That's hell! There's no way to talk to Mr. Morello! Bum! God, he should have been there alone. How could that old man kill so many of our guys? He's as old as me, so I wouldn't say that. But he probably wasn't there alone. I think he'll be planning how to get rid of us right now. What should we do? I will try to figure out something. Anyway, be careful. Now his best guys will be after us. So, we're really at war? We have been for a long time already. But now, more than ever before. Take good care of yourself, brother. Boss, it looks like he's had enough. What do you want us to do with him? I don't know. Finish him off and dump him in the ocean. Tommy. That assassination attempt means that Morello has openly declared war on us. We have to deal with him. If Morello didn't have accomplices with the politicians and other important city organizations, our forces would be nearly equal. If we liquidate those people, our opponent will be a lot weaker. That's exactly what we gotta do. Eliminate his strong contacts. Right. And as we all know, an all-out war must be avoided. Get the generals. Then the soldiers will give up without a fight. So this is what we'll do. We'll finish them off one by one. What do you mean, exactly? The first in line is the city councilor who's caused us so much trouble. Morello got him into politics, and that makes him a big supporter. We'll take care of him after the boy. And I mean today. The councilor is celebrating his birthday and has decided to throw a huge shindig. He's having it on a steamboat with fireworks and the whole nine, and he'll be making a speech to the paparazzi. There'll be a lot of people there who won't do dick against us when they see what happens to him. It sounds pretty risky. But well worth the risk. Vincenzo knows the plan. Okay. As I said, it's on a steamboat. It won't be easy to get in without an invite, but I know you can do it, Tom. Above all, try not to raise suspicions before we reach our goal. Of course, you won't get a weapon past the security, but I've dealt with that already. As soon as you get on deck, go to one of the men's rooms. There'll be a small revolver hidden there. Afterwards, just wait outside a while. The counselor will probably be hiding in his cabin, but he'll be out for the start of the celebration in his speech. That's your big shot. 
during the speech you're going to pop them, Tom. It's got to be in public, and this speech is the best opportunity. There'll be a big crowd there, so you can blend in with it once this thing is all done. And then what? I'd like to get back to shore in one piece. Afterwards, it'll be nuts. There'll be some security guards on a boat, and you should be able to get past them in the chaos. If not, get to the bow, and Paulie will pull up in a boat and bring you back safely. So what, Tommy? It won't be a picnic, but you should pull it off. Okay. I'll do it. The boat is anchored on the waterfront on Central Island. You better get going or you'll miss it. Keep an eye on the time. Bona fortuna, Tom. Well, here we go again, Ralphie. Today I need something for one use, because we don't know how it's going to work out. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Th 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 that's no big problem. I have here this little number. They're, they're pretty, pretty popular these days. Also, they're pretty solid. Look, look how easy they are to nab. Yeah, great, Ralphie. That should do the trick.
Did you see that dame with John? Yeah, I'd say she's worth the trouble. Well, apparently he met her in some dive and paid for her to get out. What? Typical. This has to happen to me. out of that broken john don't bug me i have a lot of work to do yeah i kind of need those keys i left something there yeah right maybe i'll lend them to you but you got to promise to clean up that mess in there and bring them right back to me i'll wait in the stern for you clean up um sure you bet okay there you go but bring them back a wonderful boat he had. It was a wonderful idea. A party on a steamboat. There, John. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Good evening. Yes, it's lovely here. How are you? I hope you like it. Thanks. We're glad to hey, be here. I'm glad you could make it. It's wonderful. Thank you.
Thank I think you. it's done. Thank you and welcome to this little party. I never guessed I <laughs> Tommy pulled it off. Now all the politicians in the city are scared. Nobody wants to end up like the counselor. Nice job, Tom. But it's not enough. Now we're after Morello's right-hand man, his brother, Sergio Morello Jr. He controls the unions in the city. His biggest assets are the dockers' unions, thanks to whom he practically controls every import into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello income is gone. I think I know how we'll do it, boss. Sergio is usually at the Italian Garden restaurant. There's a telephone in the restaurant, and across the street, a phone booth. You go to the booth and call inside the restaurant, saying you want to speak to Sergio. I'll be standing in front of the restaurant with a Thompson. And as soon as Sergio gets to the phone, I'll waste him. Then we just gotta get to the car and make a quick getaway. What do you say? Yeah, I suppose I can handle the calling part. Get to it, boys. Vincenzo will give you your weapons. So how are things with you and Sarah? Last time I talked with her, she seemed happy. I'm glad you guys are working it out. It was no good when you and Paulie were raging it up all the time. It's family that's important, Tom. How's the little one? A little devil, just like me at that age. My mom always used to say that I was a holy terror. <laughs> Wish I had more time for her, though. Vincenzo, I need a Tommy gum and something for Tom here. Okay. Here it is, boys. I'll keep my fingers Thanks. crossed. Hey, Ralphie, we need a car. Hey, I have a new uh, t -t 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 plan here. It's decent and a real big, s s sturdy car. You'll like it, Polly. It has a new type of lock, but, but, but if a person is clever, it ain't no p -p 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 problem to open it. Just like this. Nice and easy. It push in and click. Hey, let's go, Tom, let's go.
Here we are. Stop right here, Tom. Okay. I'll stay out front. You call from that booth. Say you want to talk to Sergio. As soon as I kill him, get in the car and wait for me. Sure thing. Yeah? Mr. Morello, please. Hang on. Buddy, Mr. Morello ain't here today. That's right. Oh, 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 Jesus, oh, oh, oh. It isn't him! Polly, move it! Morello isn't there! The guy you hit wasn't Sergio. Sergio wasn't there today. Ah, hell. Now we're in shit. We're going back to Salieri. Maniac! Don't worry about it, Tommy. It happens to everybody sometimes. Vincenzo and me have thought up a new plan. Biff told us that Sergio has a mistress who he spends a lot of time with. He must be there today. Vincenzo has put together a little surprise for him. All we gotta do is put it on his car while he's inside enjoying himself. That's right. All you gotta do is put this bomb right under his car. Then you can just enjoy the show. Sergio usually leaves at four, so hurry. This time it has got to work. His mistress lives in a house in Oakwood. We'll know he's there if his expensive little sports car's parked out in front. Stick the bomb under it. That sounds a lot better. I'll get going.
There it is. Let's have a look. Christ! No, no, no! Hey! Stop! Shit! Damn. That's one hot dame. That girl, it came out and sat down in the car. I don't know, maybe he lent it to her or something. It just happens sometimes. There's nothing you could do. Put it simply, we gotta get this guy. Sergio meets with his bookie downtown in the parking lot of the Rainbow Garden restaurant. Get Paulie down there to fill him full of holes. You'll just drive, Tom. Then get away fast before the alarm goes out. Now I'll catch that bastard, I promise. He'll be gone, and they won't even know how I did it. Now get a move on so you can still catch Sergio there. Lot. Those men in black, that's them!
What the? You have a message from Mr. Salieri. What the hell's going on? Oh, no. Well, that certainly changes the situation, gentlemen. Kill that clown! After so many foul-ups, Salieri gave the job to other people. I only went with them as kind of an insurance policy. Just sit here and watch, so you don't screw up again. Amateur.
let the barriers close. Go! Real damn professional. What are you staring at? Kill that bastard telling me! Okay, come on out, you bastard.
on, you bastard!
Ha! That didn't work. Huh? I don't know what you're trying, you bastard. My brother will kill you along with your whole family. Give it up. You're dead. You won't get in here, you idiot. You're too small for me. Hey, you hear? You lucky bastard.
heaven, Tommy. I need some wheels quick. What happened? A buddy of mine called. One of our friends was shot in Chinatown, and he's lying in a street near a square. He needs help. You need to get him and take him to the dock in Oakwood. There's a hospital in Oakwood? He's the one that you took Sam to once. Sure, I remember. So, can you do it? Okay. If you clean up the blood from the upholstery. It's no problem, but move it. He's dying out there. Lucas sent you? Yeah. Well, what's wrong oh, with you? What do you uh, think? You got hit by a 45. The second one's much worse off. So it ain't a good idea to take him to the hospital. <gasps> take me to the doctor in Oakwood. Make it quick. If someone don't take a look at him, he won't make it. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> ah. You'll be with the dock in a while. They'll put you back together again.
Here it is. Stop here. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's go, bud. We're okay. The doctor will look at you. Jesus, what a mess. The whole car is covered in blood. I hope Luca has a lot of soap. Is he okay? Yeah, they're at the doctor. He'll be okay. Oh, that's a load off my mind. Hey, he's my good buddy. I owe you one. Well, since you do, could you clean the blood off the seats? The car looks like a slaughterhouse. Hey, hey, don't worry, Tommy. I'll sort it out. Well, I hope so. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that guy sure ain't short on blood. You can say that again. It was like a freaking fountain. <laughs> Yeah, except that water is much easier to clean off a post And yeah, you just wait till it dries. You could donate the blood you clean with that cloth to the hospital. <laughs> now it's mixed with soap. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyway, I got a nice piece of work for you today, and it's no big deal to get it. No blood? Nah, don't worry. At the multi-story car lot in Central Island, there's a beautiful sports car. You just go and lift it. Box? Oh, nothing special. With your skills, hey, it'll be a piece of cake. You just be careful that the gatekeeper don't call the cops on you. Okay, thanks, Luca. Hey, I put a towel on a seat so you won't get a wet ass. Oh, that's just great.
It was a tough job, but we finally have Morello where we want him. Now one last step remains, eliminate him. In his sections of the city, there's theft, robbery, blackmail, illegal lotteries, gaming rooms, and whorehouses appearing all the time. But what's the biggest problem? Drugs? Horseshit. The problem is that we don't get a cent out of it. That'll change as soon as we get rid of Morello. His organization will collapse, and all those small-time cheats, thieves, and criminals will kill each other without anybody over there to maintain order. Today, we can finally remove that bastard once and for all. Paulie has come up with a plan. That's right. What my informants tell me, we have one chance to get this guy. Merlo watches his back and almost never shows himself in public. He goes everywhere in his bulletproof limo, clammed up like some seashell. But today he's coming out. He's going to theater to do some socializing with the creme de la creme of Lost Heaven. And we'll be there to show him something too. Isn't this a bit risky? It's risky, but this is our only opportunity to waste him in public and show everyone our power. We'll do it like this. Wait in front of the building till the end of the show. People will start coming out, so there'll be a lot of confusion. With Morello trying to make his way out, his gorillas won't have much of a chance to notice us before we hit him. Make sure you don't draw any attention to yourselves, so no shooting. Pull your weapons when you see him. I hope I still recognize him. Shouldn't be hard. Well likes to wear his white suits. Not many people wear them these days. Each of you get a Thompson or Lupara from Vincenzo. Wait out in front of the theater on Central Island until Morello comes out. Then go to it. The performance ends at 9 o'clock, so make sure you're there on time. It should work out fine, so don't come back without his head. Okay, boss. Let's get to it. Vincenzo, today we need some real heavy artillery. We're gonna rub out Morello. Well, I think 600 shots per minute from an old Tommy gun should do the trick. At the same time, we could stick to the ancient ways and use a more traditional Sicilian weapon for a job of this size.
What is it? What the hell is happening? Why'd you stop? Uh, I don't know. It just broke down. Jesus Christ, we almost have him. Sam, come on. Let's make this happen. Tom, get out and go after them. Maybe you'll catch them. Take my Thompson! You and Sam shoot them! Come on, you heap of junk! Hold on! Sam, shoot! Bastards! Kill him, Sam! Damn it, Polly. Wow. Yes! Yes! How did you fix the car? Better ask Sam. Why ain't you a mechanic, Sam? That works too dirty for me.
Hey, Tommy. Hey, you got anything for me today? Well, today was uh, a little rough. How come? Ah, uh, you know, the guys left the car here that was involved in a chase with the cops, and uh, I kind of need to get it out of here fast. Why didn't they dump it themselves? Oh, uh, well, we had a deal worked out with them, but uh, it was meant to be a sure thing, and it didn't work out. They were a little pissed, so they left it here. What's in it for me? A lovely German sports car. That's worth the risk. I'll do it. What can I do? That's eh, pretty simple. Take the car to the cliffs outside of town and dump it in the sea. Cool. But if the coppers spot you, there'll be trouble, so you gotta shake them. Okay.
Okay, where's the car? That guy came in for it a while ago and drove off. But he said he was going for dinner at Roy's Grill. It's downtown, it's just a little way from Pepe's restaurant. Hey, if you hurry, you'll still find a car there. What's going on? Today's customer appreciation day? This one's an exception. He owes me big time. I did a bunch of jobs for him and I haven't seen dollar one. God knows what he does, but at the same time he acts like a classy guy. Now this way he pays his debts and I pay my debt to you. Now you better get going. Right. Thanks. So, you killed Morello. That must have felt good, huh? We celebrated. Salieri was thrilled, of course. We ran the whole town, practically. And there seemed to be an end to the bloodshed. For a while, I felt like a king. Until I came to a realization. If a regular guy like me could kill the most powerful man in the city, what good was all his power? Hell, if he hadn't been so powerful, he'd probably still be alive. It seemed to me that, no matter how strong someone was, there was always somebody stronger to take them out. 
So where did that intuitive thought take you? Greediness is bullshit. When you have no money, you think that a few bucks a month will be enough. Then you realize that it wouldn't be bad to have a nice car. You'd get a great job in some high up position, but in actuality, you're thinking about going higher. Before you know it, you want to be the President of the United States and you want to win the war against the Germans. Luckily, that won't happen. Plus, the whole strategy of watching other people's backs has one basic flaw. The whole time you have to watch your own back in case someone else has the same idea. So I thought to myself that maybe I ought to change my priorities a little. Great Bible story. <laughs> Laugh it up. You know where it got me in the end. This. Who is it? It's from 1920. The old man is Don Pepone. The two younger ones are Salieri and Morello. This photo convinced me that this kind of life is poisonous. Morello and Salieri were friends, and they were both commanders of Pepone's regime. But in the 1920s, they got Don Pepone killed because of some deal. Strangely enough, Salieri still admires the guy now. Afterward, they divided up the city, and each ruled their own part of it. But they started to compete with each other. I ended up being Salieri's instrument of death to kill his best friend, to save him from looking Morello in the eye. It occurred to me that my friends and the people I loved were the same. Someday I'd turn to Polly and be looking straight down the barrel of a gun. I couldn't be sure of anybody, above or below me. But you were risking your life every day. Being a sharpshooter for the Mafia ain't no better roses the way you tell it. It's different when you're living it. When you're full of energy and you're fighting for your life with someone who's like your brother. You're just two soldiers who know what needs to be done. And it all depends on your ability to survive. It's a war. The constant feeling that you can't even trust your best friend is terrible. You are alone, and death can come from anywhere. I'd lie awake at night wondering if the joke my best friend told me was really just a joke, or if I should get prepared for my own execution. A person needs someone he can trust. <laughs>